currently testing every jump shot meter with a 99 three-point rating in NBA 2K24. Starting out with the ugliest jump shot meter in 2K history and working our way to the original jump shot meter. As y'all can see, 2K has some weird obsession with adding in new jump shot meters each year. The meter that I'll be starting with is called Waves. Like, there is no way people think this is a good jump shot meter to use. Drop a like on the video if this is the hardest meter to use in NBA 2K24. And after each game, I'm gonna rank each meter on a scale of 1 to 10 to see which one I like the best. Starting off with this one, how did I miss that shot? It was a full bar. Like, what? This gotta be the most ugliest meter I've ever seen. Like, I'm not even trolling. What is that? Oh! Oh! He just made me do a fucking back row! Damn, bro! I just got my shit postered! Bro, this is bad. How could I start the video off getting postered and missing a three-point shot? I green. Okay, hold on. Let me get used to this jump shot meter. If you guys can see, it doesn't even show my green window, so it's really hard to see where I need to let go. Obviously the top, but like, bro, it's gonna bounce back. Like, there's no green window, like, at all. No green window. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I'm really just guessing right now. But as y'all can see, like, there's no green window at all. I don't know what I'm looking at. It reminds me as if, like, a jump shot meter just got chopped up into a thousand things. Yo, this kid need to relax, bro. He keep trying to posterize me. Why does he even look like this, bro? Look like a thief. He look like he gotta go rob a damn jewelry store, bro. Like, look at him, bro. <gasps> Yo, did he just grade out? Or did he just, wait, what? Now I'm playing an AI. Regardless, if I have a 99 three-point rating, I feel like I should be able to see my green window. Like, there's no way I can't see my green window at all. Okay, like that. You see the layup? You can see the green window. You can see, like, the green bars up top. And that's where you gotta let go, right? That's what I'm trying to look at at the three-point line. But it's just not popping up. And I don't even know what to say about that. Hell no, miss, please. All right, let's go. Step back. That was a lot of space. Green, okay. Now look, I still don't see it. I think right now I'm just getting carried by the 99 three-point rating. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, I got postered again. No, 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 no. Ever since I put this... <gasps> what is happening, dude? Ever since I've been using this wave jump shot meter, I've gotten postered two times. I've greened like one shot only. This is like the worst luck of all time. Genuinely like the worst luck ever. <laughs> Like, what does this kid have, a 99 driving dunk? No, that's my ball, bitch. Give me the ball. Come on. Let me lock in. Let me lock in a little bit. From right there, please. Oh, my God. I cannot be the only one that thinks this is the worst one in the game. Like, look. I'm wide open. 99 three-point rating. I already know you guys in the comments going to say, just get better, bro. I know I'm not the only one that thinks this is the worst one in the game. Okay. Little ISO. <laughs> Gotta be green, please. To me, this jump shot is a 0 out of 10 rating. There's no other way around it. It's 0 out of 10. Well, I can't even green wide open because there's no actual visible green window with this jump shot meter, bro. Whenever I use a different one, I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. Like, there should be a little green part at the very top of this meter, bro. One for six. I'm out here shooting tour dates, bro. Like, no stamina. Overdose. Come on now. Got Drake coming to town on February 12th, and I got Travis Scott concert on the 7th, bro. What is good, bro? What is going on, man? Like, seriously, bro? Now we're cold, bro. This is just embarrassing. Layer. Oh, my. Get me out this game, bro. Get me out this game. This waves meter is getting a 0 out of 10. I don't care what anybody says. This is the worst meter in 2K history. Really quick, 87% of you guys that watch my videos every single day are not subscribed. If you are one of those people, click that subscribe button now. The next meter that I'll be using is called diamond i have never seen this meter a day in my life it looks like it could be easy to use and there's actually a green window at the top of this meter so yeah i'm gonna rock with diamond let's see what we can do in this next game oh this kid cannot guard me hold up this kid cannot guard me oh you see the green window on that it's huge huh? hey yo pause you feel what i'm saying though it's it's a big green window let's get warm a little bit and then let's get off to a good start because last game that shit just threw me off i'm not gonna lie to you bro the whole meter was so whack oh my god green first shot let's go but for some reason i have a 99 three-point rating why is the green window so small bro i feel like it should be way bigger than what it is bro i 
I don't know if you guys are agreeing with me on that or if it's not, but we're not gonna complain anymore. We're just gonna keep playing and keep going crazy. We're in heat check. I'm not gonna lie. I really like the feel of this diamond jump shot meter. Heat check, what are we gonna do? Oh, look at how big the green window is in heat check. Yes, sir. Come on now. We went from shooting tour dates to shooting perfect in one game. Like, it's crazy how much a jump shot meter can really change your game. All right, there's no more missing from here on out. I don't care. We're shooting over the... Oh, yes, sir. Come on. <laughs> Bro, this kid's defense is hilarious. Like, he keeps turning around. <laughs> Yo, I wish I could play dudes like this in every single game, bro. It's too much fun. This dude don't even be facing me when he plays defense. He's just running all over the place. And, like, look at his shot selection. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie. This kid most definitely just got the game for Christmas, bro. Like, he just unwrapped his present, opened up the disc, put it in, and loaded up and went straight to the 1v1 court. <laughs> Hey, hey, yo, bro, I love Christmas news, bro. Shout out to all my people that got the game for Christmas, man. I really hope you guys been enjoying the game so far. Let's go. Our first win with the jump shot meter. I have to give this diamond meter a 10 out of 10. Like, this is the best meter I've used and I feel like such a long time. Now, the next meter I want to use is this pill, all right? It looks like the waves as if it just wasn't cut into a thousand pieces. Let's use pill and see how good we can do. All right, pill, let's see what you got for me. Oh, no. This might be up there with one of the worst, bro. What is this? Okay, little standing dunk. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, we're going to pretend that first shot never went down. Let's go. Green. Okay. I was going to say, if I missed two in a row, that's terrible, bro. That's terrible. I won't lie. With this meter, you can see the green window a lot better. Like, at the very top, you can actually see some green at the end of my bar, which is good. The shape of this meter is kind of throwing me off. I won't lie. It's, like, really bold, and then, like, the inside is really, like, small. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys agree with me, but it's, like, really bold. Oh, hell no. <laughs> this might be up there with the worst one, bro. If I could actually get takeover i think i can still win this game oh yeah that's green green b yes sir oh yeah top the key bro i'm shooting straight bounce backs we better make this comeback because there's no way i'm gonna lose another game i have a 99 three ball at the end of the day like this is embarrassing that's green right nope <laughs> yo this meter is literally comparable to the wave i don't care it it's trash this pill meter is the wave's long lost brother i'm convinced it's it's long lost brother it, it, it both looks you know similar i don't know what 2k thought when they were adding this meter into the game this shit looks horrible let's make this comeback this comeback is personal this comeback is personal <laughs> yeah i'm never making a comeback with this shit god damn oh my god he jumped please Oh, no, I missed. This is insane. Just put me out my misery, bro. I I'm standing here so you can posterize me just like everybody else has this video. Do it to me, buddy. That was such a weak-ass dunk. I'm just gonna be completely honest. I give the pill a solid 1 out of 10. It looks like the wave's long-lost brother. This shit was trash. The next meter I'm going to use is the arrow. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this meter was in the game last year green and if i'm not mistaken i like this meter a lot but i can't remember because like i said they just add so many meters every single year it's like this is just their new hobby is just adding brand new meters you know we used to go from one 2k19 meter for the entire year and now we have every possible meter in the game some meters go under your feet some meters go on top of your head some meters go outside of your body some shit's like oh -hoo -hoo -hoo. green window right there was massive bro that that was huge one thing i hate though is 2k always makes this 1v1 court to where you don't keep the ball once you score like i don't understand can i please keep the ball after every time i score like it how it should be yo this kid is low-key nice this kid is low-key nice at the game he's winning we gotta make a comeback come on now who i crabbed him oh well, i mean i mean if he's just gonna give me the layup i'm gonna take it we're now in heat check come on now yo i am getting just boxed right now like, this is insane getting absolutely boxed lay is still green it doesn't matter i'm not playing bad i'm just not shooting the ball enough bro i'm trying to shoot the ball we have a 99 three-pointer bro well regardless of what this kid is doing every open three i'm taking i'm getting bro look green leave me open it's gonna be green little buddy he's letting me shoot what a weirdo you know you can't let me shoot Never mind. I guess you can. Since I feel like the arrow was in the game last year, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. The next meter we're going to use is Tusk. This reminds me of NBA 2K19, except the little green part in, like, the middle is very small. Bro, this kid is flopping already? For what? Oh, no. This might be really hard to time as well. But I can say that that was a big green window. Like, I'm not even trolling. That was a really big green window. 
<laughs> bro, why is like only one meter that I really like, bro? Why? Like this is going just bad. Like what the? F Wait, bro. No, 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 no. I can't be the only one that is like not a fan of these meters, bro. Like they used to be so nice and easy to see and read and just time. But like, oh, when I'm telling you, I don't use meter. And then whenever I try to use and test all of these meters, it just makes me remember why I don't. Dog, I'm shooting bounce backs with a 99 three-point rating. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys use meter or not, because I have not used the meter for real since NBA 2K19. Okay, green. At this point, while I play, I'm about to just tell y'all a story time. I know y'all remember my story times from back in the summer of 2K23. Um, I had some pretty legendary stories that you guys really like, so I think it's time to bring story times back a little early. Yo, get off my nuts, nerd. Thank you. Like, damn, bro. This story time takes place on a plane. Green. Let's go, all right? We shot over those. We can still win this game. Shoot your step back again. Whoop, there goes your zen. <laughs> I'm not trolling, bro. This kid has a zen. I got to give this tusk meter a solid 2.2 .2 out of 10. It is up there with waves and pill. Not a fan of it at all. The next meter I'm going to use is funnel. This one looks really nice. I like this. <laughs> Yo, really, bro? This kid, his name is I Got Blicks. Let me get back to this story time. Oh my God, he's leaving me wide open green. And I really like the looks of this meter so far. So me and my family went on a few family vacations this past year. And the location that we were going to was Mexico. So where I live to Mexico, it is a one-way flight and it only takes about three hours. So it wasn't that long of a flight. And the time that we went was summertime, literally like 4th of July weekend. So a lot of families were heading there as well. Now, whenever I tell you this plane was full, every single seat was taken, all right? Now, where this story goes wrong in the plane, I already know you guys are probably thinking like crazy things in your head right now of like, what the fuck could have happened in a plane? This big ass family, Family probably had like eight people with them. They had grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, and like four little kids. I'm talking little kids. Like they were itty bitty, bro. They looked like they were maybe like three or four years old, okay? Now that's great. You know, family vacations are really good and bro, you're going to Mexico, they're gonna have a good time. And before we take off, Okay, another green. Ever since I started saying this story, we've been going stupid. We're now in takeover. Now, you guys know it takes a little bit when everybody gets in the plane to take off because the pilot has to go through all these checks. The people have to make sure everybody's in their seats. Fasten, secured seatbelt click. I missed that in takeover. Is this game a scam or what? So while we're waiting, this little girl apparently wasn't feeling so good and she ends up throwing up all over. And mind you, this family is right next to us, literally to my left, all right? We're on the right side, they're on the left. I look over and this little girl just literally just barfs all over. We're like, oh fuck no, what the fuck? The last thing I want is a delay in my flight to get to my fucking trip, all right? This trip was about to be crazy. It was all-inclusive, bro. You get to go stupid, eat whatever you want, drink whatever you want. Bro, it was about to be the time of my life. And the last thing I want is some delay because a little girl just starts throwing up everywhere. I kid you guys not. This grandma would not let their family leave the plane even though the pilot and everybody on there was trying to get them off the plane because apparently if the little girl were to throw up middle of the flight again we would have to turn the entire plane around no matter how close we were to mexico we would have to turn around completely and restart this entire thing that's just like apparently the rules of flying with a sick person i don't know according to the pilot he said if you do not get off the plane and your little girl throws up even if we're we're five minutes away we have to turn the aircraft around and land where we started from so we're all freaking out everybody on the plane is starting to like oh my god just get off the plane and do us all a favor find the next time you can fly out and go later in the day once this little girl feels better right we got to put the story on pause but it gets crazy now the funnel i'm gonna rank this a nine out of ten i really like this now the next one we're going to use is called straight but as i was saying this pilot was trying to get these people off of the plane just for everybody else that oh what is this meter bro what the f what is this there's not a single soul that uses this meter bro I, I could put money on it anyways the pilot was just looking out for everybody else on the plane that was trying to get to their destination on time right but no this grandma was the most stubborn lady of all time it took every flight attendant the pilot to get out of the uh, cockpit 
Every person that they could possibly think of to get this lady off the plane, she refused. She would not get off the plane. The little girl just was crying, throwing up, feeling sick or whatever. The mom, they were just the most stubborn family I think I'd ever seen. It's like they, they forgot people existed and they were just off of themselves, all right? Like their little daughter was throwing up everywhere. How the hell are you not gonna think like, okay, maybe we should get off, make sure our daughter feels better and then fly to Mexico later when she feels fine because they are thinking to their head like, oh, she already threw up she's not gonna throw up again like bro she's sick you're telling me the pilot said if she throws up any time on this plane we have to turn around are you kidding me take your family of eight off this shit and let us go but like i said this stubborn ass grandma would not move i don't know if she became deaf in the exact moment of everything was happening but like it was like talking to a brick wall this 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 old ass lady was the rudest lady i think i had ever seen it got so bad with the pl Oh my god, I just broke his ankles! And I still missed. This meter is fucking shit. It got so bad where the pilot and the flight attendants had to call the little girl's doctor to let them know what was happening to force the family and the grandma to get him off the plane. And I just airballed. I hope you guys are enjoying the story because, um, like, most of these meters are actual ass this year. I just have to be the first one to tell y'all. So after they were on the phone with the doctor, all the people in the plane, including myself, I didn't care at this point, we were, like, all saying, like, get off the plane like bro we were trying to go to mexico and enjoy a family vacation bro we have these stubborn ass people right what is wrong with them so everybody on the plane when i mean everybody this thing was packed by the way probably a couple hundred people on this plane bro everyone was like oh my god like like literally just like that and imagine all these grown ass people you know we have patience we were seeing what was happening in the beginning and you know giving them a chance you know maybe they'll get off but no this this old ass grandma refused to get off this plane all right now the only reason why i was able to hear everything is because this little girl and family was literally to my left you guys know picture yourself in a plane you have the right and left side they were directly to the side of me bro like to the side of me it was just such a weird time and place for me to be but i got to witness everything and when the flight attendants were on the phone i could overhear the doctor and stuff speaking she was saying the whole time that the family cannot go like the little girl needs to stay back because she's so young this was a long flight and it was like one of her first flights she said and it was just not gonna end well and it was gonna ruin everybody's trip so finally i kid you not it took an hour for them to convince this grandma and the whole family to get off the plane when they first got up and started walking off the uh airplane everyone was celebrating like somebody had just won the nba finals like it was i just greened and he blocked the layup but i kid you not everybody was like chanting screaming clapping like let's go they're finally gone they're off the plane Woo! like you kept hearing everybody chant it was the most funny thing in the world even though they ended up getting off the plane it kind of messed up our entire first day in mexico wow this kid really just jumped over me and missed what a bum <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'll give him props. This kid really just jumped over me. <laughs> Lay. Oh, green. This straight meter is absolute dog piss. I gotta give this one like a 0.2 out of 10. Not a fan at all. The next one I'm gonna use is curved bar. This one, um, yeah, this might work. I'm not gonna lie, this might work. Now, you guys probably think this story ends there. Oh, yo, this meter is fire yo it was big as shit i like this hold up now as you guys know when it comes to flights and stuff planes gotta be on time so this hour and 15 minute delay was a big no-no they probably got in serious trouble like realistically speaking and we had private bus escorts that was waiting for us in mexico to arrive at a certain time like we had a private bus that was gonna escort us right to our resort like just our family, literally my family. We had this like whole thing set up to where the, you know, they were waiting with our family name on it and they were just gonna take us from the airport directly to the, uh, to the resort. But, uh, with us being an hour and 15 minutes late, the private bus that we had already booked had other people to drive to their resorts because we took too long. You know what I'm saying? So once we arrived, you know what I'm saying? We were kind of like hopeless in a sense of like, uh, you know, our bus isn't here. You know, nope. we don't really know what to do. We're just kind of stranded in Mexico at this point. Look, a lot of people in Mexico do know how to speak some English because I'm gonna be honest me and my family we do not know Spanish like that so it would have been really difficult so after about another hour in the airport trying to find another bus to take us to our resort we had to wait three whole hours of dropping off other families to their destination like there was so many times where we had drove past our resort 
just because we had to drop off the other people in the bus that were scheduled for their time. Oh my god, we made him jump. Holy shit. Let's end this game right here. Oh my god, the meter was so good. So for now on, like, I have something against grandmas. I, I, I don't know what it is. Like, they just kind of piss me off. You know, some grandmas are super sweet and I love them. But like, bro, this one specifically just made me look at grandmas differently, bro. I, I've never encountered such a stubborn family in my entire life. Curve bar might be my favorite meter I have used this entire year. I gotta give this one a 10 out of 10. Like, I like this one as much as I do the diamond. Like, this one was really nice, really easy to see. Um, yeah, I'm giving this curve bar a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend you guys try it if you guys use the meter. The last and final one is Mr. Plain Jane Generic himself, Comet. You know what I'm saying? I've used this one before, but you know, it's part of the video. We got to use this one regardless. If you guys want more story times in my videos, all you need to do is just drop a like and comment more stories, and I would love to do them. I have so many crazy stories, funny stories, embarrassing stories that happened to me. I know I did this last summer, like every single video, and you guys love them, um, and I'm willing to bring them back because they are fun I, I honestly like telling you guys more about myself things that happen to me and just weird funny shit that be going down so um yeah all you got to do is comment more stories and drop a like on this video if y'all want them i cannot shoot to save my life with the meter i, I think I it is time to retire and never use another meter ever again but there's no way i'm missing with a 99 three-point rating did i realize how bad i am with a 99 three-point rating in this video because yeah. i think i just found out how ass i really am this kid has literally given up. If I was you, I would give up too. Even though I can't shoot to save my life, but you're like a 60 overall, so you're not gonna win. Like, let's be real, buddy. Let's be real. You're not gonna win. Shoot the ball. Let me see the ball. Shooting this one from the corner, getting my redemption shot. I should nope. bounce back. Okay, that's gotta be green, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's green. I was gonna say, if I miss another shot with this takeover, I'm gonna freak out. Fucking shooting tour dates again with a 99 three-point rating, bro. Like, oh my god, I cannot do this anymore, bro. Like, we out here shooting tour dates 5 for 14. Like, anybody got a birthday on May 14th? If, if this is anybody's birthday that's watching this video, I might have to bless y'all with like $1,000 because this is getting insane. Like, like, what is going on, bro? Come on, bro. Shoot the ball so I can end this game. Shoot the ball so I can end this game. Shoot the ball. Thank you for shooting the ball. Let me end this game right Right here buddies in game chat let me get you off the court for yourself man if you guys enjoyed today's video and story time make sure you guys drop a like click that subscribe button if you guys are new if you guys enjoyed this video me and three ball are currently doing a race to 99 overall so if you guys want to see that click the video that will be on this screen when the outro plays so with that being said i love you all thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one Peace. Hey, if y'all boys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys check out the brand new video on the screen. And if you guys don't follow my Instagram or Twitter, go do that right now. I love y'all and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.